All right, gang, Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I'm gonna teach you your first two track chords. If you watch many of my lessons, you always hear me referring to the track chords. And, and I've said often that these, these chords helped advance my guitar playing so much. And I can talk more about that later. But let's learn your first chord that instead of a regular E chord, you're gonna play this open E. It's got a real cool sound. It's, it's the same chord you hear. It sounds really cool because I love it. It really opens and voices that chord. Now what you're gonna do is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seventh fret, you're gonna take your first finger and put on the fifth string. When I say fifth string, I count from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. You're gonna press just that fifth string on the seventh fret. Also for quicker reference, if you're looking down at your guitar, one, two, it's the third dot. So on that seventh fret, you're gonna play nothing on this eighth fret, and then you're gonna take your ring finger and pinky finger and play the two middle strings of the ninth fret. And the way I would even do this, is when I'm transitioning to this chord, I'm gonna go straight, let me scoot up here. I'm gonna jump straight and put my first two fingers on these two middle strings. You kinda of gonna put them together, bam. Put those in the middle too. And then after I put those down, because the reason I even call them track chords is these two strings, two fingers stay on this middle track. So it's somewhere as a railroad track. This is staying down. But I'm going to go straight to this, um, to this ninth fret. And then after I put those down, I'm putting this seventh, this first finger on the fifth string, seventh fret, and strum all six. <laughs> So if you're a beginner and you've never been exposed to the track chords, you can type in Matt McCoy track chords to see my lesson. But I recommend learning this one first. The reason this one's gonna be a little bit easier too than my other, so I call four chords a track chord. There's an E, a C sharp minor, a B, and an A, so. So, what you're gonna do is first learn this chord and then you're gonna slide these two fingers, that's an E, so the seventh and ninth fret. Again, nothing on the eighth. Then you're gonna slide your ring finger and pinky finger to the second fret. Let's turn on the bottom five. That's gonna be an A chord. That's gonna be the two chords you're gonna work on this lesson. The E and the A. You might wanna do say a four count each. One, two, three, And switch the order. Start with an A chord. Like I said, the reason I teach those two before the other two is because you'll notice as you move down the guitar, the frets get closer together, which is probably, especially for beginners, going to be easier having your fingers close than, say, this B chord. You got to learn to kind of stretch your hands. It's a little bit easier for me because I have really big hands, but you, you, you're able to slide. So again, you can type in track, map with track chords, but all I'm doing for this B, it's the second and fourth, and the C sharp minor is the fourth and the sixth. So, and then the E is the seventh and ninth. So work on those first two track chords. 
Let me know in the comment section if you have those. Your first two track chords, the E. Just say, yes, man, I've got them, or no, man, I'm still working. Either one, like I said, I'll know kind of how to teach these lessons. Guys, go check out AcousticSelection.com uh, for all my videos, DVDs, that kind of thing. And follow me on Snapchat, GuitarTeacher44. Thank you so much for all the support. I'm going to get off to work. God bless you.